capillary electrophoresis. The introduction and instrumentation we have seen in our last video. It is the movement of charged particles. Separation is carried out by applying a high voltage about 10 to 30 kilovolts of the potential to a very narrow fused silica capillary which is filled with a mobile phase. The mobile phase generally contain an aqueous component and it should also contain an electrolyte which is a buffer taken in a reservoir. The analyte that is chosen it may contain either the ionic species cationic or the anionic species or it may also contain neutral species. The ionic species they migrate in the applied electric field at a rate which depend on their charge and also on the ionic radius. But when it comes to the neutral species it will migrate due to the electro osmotic flow. Usually this electro osmotic flow occur towards the cathode in the instrumentation. The velocity of the ion V or nu is given by an equation nu equals mu E into E where mu E is the electrophoretic or the ionic mobility and E is the applied electric field. This electric field is in the volts per centimeter. Electric field depend on two important factors. One is length and the another one is strength. Length of the capillary and the strength which is the applied potential. Higher the potential which is applied higher will be the electric field and also as the length of the capillary increase the electric field decrease. So in this principle we will try to bring a relation between the ionic mobility and the electric field or the viscosity of the medium and also the ionic radius. Electrophoretic or the ionic mobility is given by an equation electric force Fe upon frictional drag FF. For an ion that is chosen there will be some friction within the system which occur due to various forces existing within the system. It may also depend upon the viscosity of the medium. Electric force is given by another equation which I given it as the third equation Fe equals to Q into E where Q is the charge on the ion and E is the applied electric field. Usually the ions assume a spherical shape. It is the minimum space that any species can acquire. So for a spherical ion the equation given is FF equals negative of 6 pi neta RV where neta is the viscosity of the medium, R is the ionic radius and nu is the ion velocity. So though the ion tries to mobilize, the ion tries to move towards one of the uh, cathode or the anode ends but there will be always some friction which is just pulling out not to reaching the opposite ends that we refer as a frictional drag. When the frictional drag and the electric field experienced by an ion if they are equal then we say that QE equals 6 pi neta RV where the frictional drag is just equivalent to that of the electric field that is applied. In such a case we take this equation where E equals 6 pi neta RV upon Q. So this is one equation where we are trying to relate it to the first one with that of the ionic or the electrophoretic mobility. Let us substitute this equation 5 in equation 1. So the equation 1 is uh, we have seen it as uh, V or nu equal to mu, mu E into E now we will take mu E equal to nu upon E. So substitute the value of E and then we get this equation where we see that the ionic mobility now is a factor of Q, neta and R. So what information that we get from this important equation is the electrophoretic or the ionic mobility depend on three important factors. One is the charge second one is the viscosity of the medium and third one is the ionic radius. So from the equation 3 let us try to conclude three important things. I have taken parameters, the effect of the parameter and how it is affecting the electrophoretic or the ionic mobility. The first one being the electric charge, the charge on the ion which is present 
as the charge on the ion increases greater the charge on the ion higher will be its ionic mobility second one from the equation we can see as the viscosity increases the ionic mobility decreases they are inversely related also larger the ionic radius smaller will be its mobility so these are the three important things that we can see in the previous this was the first equation we have seen from this first equation slowly we have derived a relation between the ionic mobility and the charge viscosity and the radius well let us now conclude ionic mobility depend on these three factors ionic mobility i'm just trying to conclude it depends on ionization and also the molecular shape so the more it is ionized greater will be its mobility this ionization is a function of pka and shape as it tries to acquire a greater spherical shape smaller will be its surface area and greater will be its mobility so how are these ions and neutral species move within the capillary how they get separated and the electroosmotic flow all these things will be discussed in our next video